Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another horoscope book series and I'll be discussing the horoscope Aquarius. So yeah, let's just get started. So as always, I went to Emily and asked her what are the stereotypical qualities of Aquarius and this is what she had to say and I'll post an image here. What she said was, they're mostly original, independent, aloof, unique, humanitarian, not romantic at all, determined, fixed mindset on a goal, friendly, and social. So a relatively wide range of adjectives. <laughs> but uh, so as always, I picked two books that I think well personifies Aquarius. So the first book I'm picking is actually the first book that I finished reading in 2018 and that is Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hawking. I actually don't have this book anymore with me. I gave it away as part of a giveaway about a month ago. So this book basically it's a fantasy novel and there is a host of variety of fantasy creatures, mythical creatures such as immortals, gods, demons, uh, nymphs, different various mythological creatures uh, and there's obviously humans as well and there's Valkyries and Valkyries have this one main goal or responsibility in life and that is killing the immortals to return them to the afterlife. And the reason why I picked this book is because of Malin, Malin. She is literally the definition of Aquarius. She, because she's a Valkyrie, she has great pride and takes great responsibility in finishing and carrying out this destiny that Valkyries have. And so she's very, she grew up in this very strict set of rules and guidelines and she is so fixated on this, you know, end goal or this responsibility. She's also extremely independent because Valkyries are sent on these, you know, kill missions most of the time solo, except for when they're in training. So because of that, they are very aloof, so they're very independent. She's also not at all romantic because apparently, according to her, Valkyries are not meant to fall in love. So she grew up kind of shying away from love or any sort of romantic entanglements. And if she does get into it, she kind of, you know, detaches herself when it gets too serious. But at the same time, she's also extremely friendly and social and she has a very tight knit of friends that she trusts and she would do anything for. So she's a very, in a way, she's a little complex, I guess, complicated because on one hand, she's trying to do her Valkyrie duties and, you know, kill immortals when they're when uh, she's told to kill them and on the other hand she's very friendly and social and wants to get along with everyone and she's also like not romantic so I don't know from what Emily says Malin seems to personify Aquarius very well so that's why I picked her. So the second book I am picking is Fade to Us by Julia Day. I actually read this book recently during my 24 and 48 readathon. I will link the video above, but actually I ended up finishing it before the readathon even started. So anyways, <laughs> but the book basically follows the story of Brooke who summer is just about to start. She has a job. She is, you know, living life with her friends and she also lives with her mother and her stepfather and all of a sudden she's told that her stepsister Natalie is going to be staying with her for the duration of the summer. And now she has to deal with this stepsister who she's not really close with and she also has Asperger's. Her stepsister Natalie has Asperger's and because she has Asperger's, someone has to always stay near her. So that, that leaves Brooke, her mother, or her stepfather. So they all have to work around their schedules and make sure someone is always on call just in case something happens. And so Brooke is now dealing with this, getting to know her stepsister. She's dealing with her job and then she has like a romance involved. So it's a very interesting story. I really liked it and actually on Monday, I did a blog tour for it so I will link my blog below in case you're interested in checking out the, my review, like a more in-depth review. But the main reason why I picked this book is because she's extremely determined. As I said before, she's a job that she recently acquired. And the reason for her getting this job is because she's been saving up for a car for the longest time. And she's so meticulous too in terms of how much money she has to save left and how much money she's earned and what's left to go, like what's, you know, how much more does she have to save until she reaches her goal? So she's extremely like determined and fixated and 
meticulous on this particular goal. She's also very friendly and social and has a relatively... I mean, she her, she's a very close friend, but because of the circumstance with her stepsister, her friend and her was starting to get like not super close because of circumstances and... But like for the most part though, she's very friendly, very social, and everyone that she works with ends up liking her because she's very she's very type A in a way. She when she wants to do something, she is very determined, as I mentioned. So because of that, people who work with her end up liking her because she doesn't just do the mile that she's told, she goes the extra mile. She's also not very romantic at all. I mentioned in this that previously that she is trying she's dealing with new romance and in a way there were a few times when I thought of her as she was treating it as if it was like a business transaction or like a business deal of some sort and there was a time when she cut it off not any spoilers or anything but there was a time when she ended something and she didn't seem like she she just cut it off like very abruptly and it was as if she was like I said doing a business deal and that was the end you know like that's the end of her contract done so She's not romantic in the sense that I would usually think of. So that's basically why I picked this book as my second pick for Aquarius. So clearly it seems that both books and their characters seem to personify some of the attributes for Aquarius. Please let me know in the comments below if you agree with me or not or if you've read any of these books and you decided, oh my god, you're totally right, Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> but regardless, if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it for today, guys. Thank you. Bye.